shocking pictures tonight showing the aftermath of a car crashing into a food cart on VCU's campus. Police tell us the crash happened around 10 o'clock in the morning. 8 News reporter Cheyenne Pagan has been looking into what happened and is joining us now in the Digital Center with reaction. Cheyenne. Deanna, Eric, it's a busy pedestrian area, but police say everyone who was on the sidewalk when it, the crash happened is okay. The incident, however, is just another close call that some are hoping sparks change. A car in a food cart on the corner of North 11th Street and East Clay Street, pictured here by a bystander Wednesday morning. You can see the car up on the sidewalk with the food cart sideways and halfway in the air as first responders work the scene. Resident Randon Sprinkle was not shocked to hear news of this accident. He was the roommate of Sean Sores, the VCU student who was hit by a car and killed earlier this year. While someone is walking on the street, they should not have to fear that someone's going to drive up on the sidewalk. VCU police say they responded to an aggravated domestic assault around 10 in the morning on Wednesday and found the car crashed into the cart. They say the crash was the result of the domestic assault. No one on the ground was hurt. Police say the crash survivor was taken to the emergency room with multiple injuries. Sprinkle says crashes like this are becoming all too common on campus and warns pedestrians to stay vigilant. This is a reoccurring thing, especially in the last few months, unfortunately. Um, and, you know, taking the extra seconds to look around, especially with you with a group of friends, and now, as leftover damage sits where that food cart used to stand, Sprinkle hopes to see change before it's too late. What is the barrier point that VCU is going to do something? Um, because it's not like this is a one-time thing. It's not like it's only happening in one spot. Like, it's happening in multiple areas, multiple times. VCU police tell me this is still an ongoing investigation and did not share any other additional details at this time. Live in the Digital Center, Cheyenne Pagan, 8 News.